Bam guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Um, today a short update about Bitcoin Beach, Lagos, Bam Bam Beach as you know it. Yes, uh, last year I opened a beautiful Bitcoin Beach bar uh, there on the beach in Maya Praia, Lagos. Uh, it was an amazing year with hundreds of Bitcoin Lightning transactions done there in a couple of months. People were really growing into a Bitcoin community. We were doing meetups, we were doing a lot of parties, we were doing all the cool shit over there and just educated a lot of people in Bitcoin. Now. The bad news that I'm going to bring you is that I can't open the Bam Bam Beach Bar this year. The reason that I can't open it is because the owner of the license doesn't want to give me the license anymore. He wants to have their own license. He saw that we did something successful and now he wants to do it himself. So that's the reason why I can't open. I know we got screwed again and that's always what happens if you do something physical in life. The second reason also to be very honest is that, you know, I realized by owning a Bitcoin beach bar, you are again in a golden cage. Yes, you're making some Bitcoins. Yes, you're educating a lot of people. Yes, you're having a lot of fun, but you can't leave the barbers pier because people expect you to be there every day. So that is not the future I envisioned for myself and my family. So maybe it was like meant to be like this. There will be another bar on that beach owned by Paulo. Paulo is the guy that I first converted into accepting Bitcoins on that beach four years ago. He is still a Bitcoiner. He's all in Bitcoin. He's also in the Bitcoin community. He's opening his bar again. So probably that will slowly convert into being the hub for all Bitcoiners over there. I will keep you up to date on the name because he re he's renewing the com complete concept. He got a new license, everything for another 10 years. So I will keep you up to date on that bar. And if that bar opens, I will be there many times to have some rum coke again because after Thailand and being fit, uh, I will have some drinks again a couple times a week, probably, at that bar, talking about Bitcoin blockchain and life. Now, the long-term solution, of course, is completely different. In my opinion, the long-term solution can only be a solution where a non-profit, community-owned Bitcoin bar is being opened by the community. And why non-profit? Because the profits shouldn't matter to us as Bitcoiners. The profits should be shared with those people that really are in need of Bitcoin, the poor people all over the world. So if we as a community can create a beautiful Bitcoin beach bar somewhere in Portugal or somewhere in Spain or wherever it is, and then have it run by Bitcoiners every day, like exchanging shifts, changing shifts and all that stuff, so that not, not everyone has to be there every day, then we could create a beautiful educational hub for all Bitcoiners out there in Portugal. And that means that all people that come to that bar will be educated by a real Bitcoiner, like me, for example, and not like somebody that's just working there. It's not a Bitcoiner, but create an educational Bitcoin hub for meetups and for all that kind of stuff that we did the Bam Bam Beach in Portugal. So for me, that should, would be the solution. Community owned, beautiful, and a DAO voting system, all that stuff combined in a beautiful beach bar where people can come to be educated, but also, of course, do some um, very lucrative OTC deals to exchange their Bitcoins uh, into drinks or massage or whatever other activity is, um, is, is given in those bars. So again, sorry for the bad news. Sorry that I need to tell you this in this way, but I, I don't want to fight anymore to the owner of the license and uh, it's gone. Um, um, the, the bar is still there. Go there, make pictures, go do a shitload of Facebook posts and everything while the bar is not opening so that Portugal and Lagos will understand that it will be something they will be missing this year. But I will be back with a better plan and hopefully uh, I can build on that one with your, you as a community. Bitcoin. So if we can open a community-owned Bitcoin beach bar somewhere in Portugal where everyone takes a shift in opening and running that bar so that everyone still has a lot of freedom because Bitcoin is one freedom, but also everyone can participate in something really cool, something really fun in Portugal uh, while supporting the whole Bitcoin community by doing so, uh, then that would be the last option for me to even do an investment in getting access to a beach bar, to a license and doing it. But we really need a community. And to build that community, I don't want to be the core person that does it. I need one person that stands up, opens a group, uh, gets all the people in those groups, and then it gets uh, same-minded people to want really to support that and make time free to be able to support it. So that is my second plan. Um, but let's see. First, enjoying Thailand for a couple of more uh, weeks and then going back to Portugal to see what, what's happening over there. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this update. If you did enjoy the update, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know what you think about that second solution. And also let me know what you think about the sad news that I can't open the bar at the moment. 
sorry for that, but it will make sure that there's one person on that beach with a bar that will be accepting Bitcoin, so you as a Bitcoin community can go there and spend your Bitcoins and have a drink with me. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam!